Gentlemen, let me say something that might catch some of you guys off guard. Here it comes. You are more handsome than you think you are. And not only that, you have the potential to be more handsome than you think you do. So right off the bat, that's two positive compliments I just gave you. And if you think I'm wrong, man, I really want you to keep watching because in this video, I'm gonna show you and talk about several different ways that you can increase your handsomeness level with minimal effort. So let me say one thing here right off the top and acknowledge that of course, handsomeness is subjective and it varies based on personal preferences. But I get comments and emails from guys pretty frequently that tell me that they're not very good looking or they're not very handsome and they struggle with certain aspects of their personal lives, like dating, for example. And look, let's face it, right? Some guys are just better looking than other guys, right? Because most of us just weren't born with the DNA to look like George Clooney or Brad Pitt. But at least in my opinion, that doesn't give you the excuse to just sit on your couch and not try to be the best version of yourself that you can. And I know what that sounds like, right? It sounds really cliche, but it's true. And the whole reason that I started this channel was to try to help older guys in this mostly overlooked middle-aged demographic that, look, it's never too late and you're never too old to make a change in your life or start something new. And I'm glad you're here. All right, though, first and foremost, because this is primarily a style channel, one of the most powerful ways that you can increase your handsome is by working on and improving your personal style. Wearing the right clothes can visually improve your body proportions. It can also make you look taller, slimmer, and more muscular. And these are undisputed facts. And as a bonus, people notice stylish guys and those people consider those guys to be more handsome simply based on what they're wearing. Now look, you don't have to go wear a suit or anything crazy like that because that might not even be who you are. Just make better choices with what you already wear. So look at it this way. If you normally wear a graphic t-shirt, jeans, and boots, just try a nicer, better fitting pair of jeans and maybe a nicer, better fitting t-shirt without all the logos on it and maybe a nicer pair of boots. You will instantly look more stylish and more handsome. I mean, you're the same guy wearing the same exact stuff. The thing is though, you're wearing better versions of that stuff. Okay, for example, a well-fitted shirt creates a nice streamlined silhouette, right? It can also highlight your chest and your arms. And if you've got a few extra pounds around your top half, go with dark color shirts over white shirts because dark colors subtract light, making you look a lot leaner. Also, polo shirts over t-shirts all day long, man. The collar adds structure to your neck and shoulder area, and it draws the eye upwards towards your face. Not only that though, the collar adds a little level of sophistication and style that t-shirts can't even come close to. So if you're looking for a polo shirt, make sure it has the right type of collar. So the ones I like are these from Collars & Co because they have this rigid collar that always stays up and it always looks great. So this is basically a polo shirt with a dress collar that gives you the same look as a dress shirt under a jacket or a pullover. So this is the company that was on Shark Tank that Mark Cuban invested a million dollars in. Collars & Co is sponsoring this video, so you better believe they're giving all of us a special offer in the link down below. But these polo shirts are, of course, short sleeve, four-way stretch, and they're wrinkle resistant. These are amazing for travel because they're super lightweight and very, very comfortable. Forbes magazine even said that this company is changing the shirting industry. And these are without question some of my favorite polo shirts that I have in my closet simply because of how comfortable and versatile these things are. Now there's gonna be a link down below in the description to a special limited time offer. You've gotta go through that link though and use code FASHION when you place your order. Please go check out everything they have because I know you're gonna love these things as much as I do. One more time though, this is a limited time offer. And honestly, I don't even know how long this is gonna last. So please don't wait on this one. And thank you Collars & Co for your ongoing support of my channel and for sponsoring today's video. All right, moving on from style because I could probably talk about style all day long, but it's so powerful. But anyway, let's talk about grooming for just a minute. And first of all, facial hair. 
If you have it, or if you want it, make sure you keep it trimmed and well-maintained. Because here's the thing, man, the older we get, the more important it is that we keep up on all of our grooming. And the reason is because we, as older guys, can look unkempt, sloppy, and homeless really quick, or at least a lot quicker than younger guys. Also make sure that your nose hair and your eyebrows are maintained as well, because look, I don't know if you've ever been in a conversation with someone who's maybe a little bit taller than you, and he's got a bunch of random nose hairs poking out, but it's very distracting. Sorry for the visual. All right, now let's chat about your haircut. So look, if you still have hair and you're an older guy, first of all, congratulations. Second of all, because you still have it, I think you owe it to yourself to do something more with it. All right, so for example, if maybe you're running with like a super short, spiky haircut because that's what you've done for the last 15 years and you're just not sure what else to do, start letting it grow. Let it grow out a little bit and just see what you're working with. Find an actual barber instead of like the cheap assembly line haircut places and then bring in photos of different hairstyles that you found on Google. Seriously, Google hairstyles for men over 40 and just go crazy. Save a few that you like and then bring those into your barber and then spend the next few months working with your barber, growing your hair out a little bit, and then you can try an actual hairstyle, not just a haircut. Now, speaking of trying something new, the next thing that you can do that will increase the level of your handsomeness is to start taking care of the skin on your face and develop a skincare routine. And I talk about this quite a bit, but as we get older, man, it, it becomes a lot more important. And I've had a skincare routine for the last several years, and I'll link to the stuff that I use down below. But look, as we get older, it gets really important to use a sunscreen and also a daily moisturizer to keep the skin on your face hydrated and not dried out. It's also important to use a really good eye solution to minimize dark circles and wrinkles all around your eyes. Now, of course, you probably knew this next one was coming and it's to stay active and get regular exercise. Let's face it, exercise is not only good for our physical health and well-being, but it also improves our appearance. And guys that are in shape generally don't have issues finding clothes that fit. And that's just the way that it is. But that's not to say that clothes can't look amazing on guys who don't work out because they absolutely can. But the fact is, the more things you can do for yourself that are good for you and good for your well-being, the better you start to look and the better you start to feel. And that improves your overall self-confidence. And on the subject of self-confidence, this is an attractive quality that can make you stand out in a crowd and it's contagious and it shows qualities of strength, self-assurance, and everybody can see that on you. So think about this. Remember that one time that you wore that suit to that wedding and when you looked in the mirror, you liked what you saw? Now, even if you don't wear suits very often or ever, I mean, sure, it may have felt a little bit weird wearing it and maybe you weren't quite sure how to get the tie knot straight, but look, once you got everything dialed in and you looked in the mirror, you felt like a badass. You felt classy, people complimented you and said, wow, you clean up really well and you knew you looked handsome. And at least for a little while, you felt pretty good about yourself. That is what I'm talking about. When I talk about style and clothes and all that other stuff, that feeling of self-worth and self-confidence, that's what it's all about. It's not about what other people think. It's about what you think about yourself. And having self-worth and self-confidence makes you, my friend, incredibly handsome. So listen, I'm gonna put a video right here that I think you'll really enjoy watching. And if you made it this far, you are definitely one of the true legends. Please consider subscribing if you're not already. And with that, my friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.